I'm an idiot because once, before we were married, she asked me if I knew that if we did get married, we would not be having children. And I said, yes. And because she knew that I was lying, she asked me if I was really okay with that. And because I'm an idiot, I said, yes, again. And once, during a fight, not married more than a year, she said, I feel like your first wife. And I, like an idiot, assured her that she was. <laughs> she worked out five times a week and smoked as many packs of ultralights. And once when I asked her why, she said, because I hate myself and I want to die. And I'm an idiot because I laughed and said something I don't recall. Something utterly and completely insufficient. From our rooftop, I saw 40 or 50 people jump from the towers on a Tuesday morning. We used to be able to see them to the south, just as we can still see to the north. And by we, I guess I mean just me now, the Empire State Building, which still steeps me in gratitude because I'm an idiot out of the smoke with arms flailing, and I swear I saw a perfect swan. And I was going to write a poem about how fire is the only thing that can make a person jump out of a window. And maybe I'm an idiot for thinking I could have saved her, call me her knight in shattered armor, could have loved her more or told her the truth about children, but Depression, too, is a kind of fire, and I know nothing of either. Thank you.